All right, well, the last thing I ever do is promote conspiracy theories, but I have examined all the supposed truths and supposed theories that are out there that I've found. And here's the main thing. September 11th, the JFK assassination, UFOs, Roswell, New Mexico, and alien autopsy, autopsies. Uh, there's something really fishy about a lot of that. And, uh, I sort of do have knowledge about extraterrestrials, being that I, I have seen some strange things in the sky, and, um, my granddad was an air traffic controller in the military, and he told me a few stories, which I'm not going to repeat on here, it will just sound crazy. But the thing about conspiracy theories is, I don't think the truth you're given is exactly right, and I don't think the conspiracy theory is exactly right. It might be neither, it might be elements of both, it might be exactly right on one or the other. You never really can tell, and the truth is always uh, shadowed by history, and it's more and more difficult to find out what really happened. But with serious issues, like assassinations and terrorist attacks, you really need to remember all of these things and keep looking for evidence. Never give up at trying to find more evidence. Even if you think all of it's found, you, you can't give up at looking for more truths that were hidden to begin with. Because a lot of times it takes a while for the truth to come out. Even a hundred years or more. That's often been the case. I mean, you just have to keep stockpiling the evidence on all of these conspiracy theories and someone out there needs to be doing that in a, in a way that cannot be compromised by any outside forces. But just always follow your own truths and follow your own opinions on things don't follow other people's opinions and stupid ideas and argue about them that's a waste of time uh, form your own separate individual opinions and then who agrees with people and who disagrees with people don't argue about it just you know most people are about the same up here it's outside influences like politics and media that they try to rip you apart and get you to believe one extreme or the other that makes me think that some conspiracy theories might be right, but I'm not in the business of creating or analyzing them, although I do find them interesting. I guess I'll cut this short. Have a good day.